setting powder on top of my under eye. Did that make any sense? What am I saying? Did that even make any sense? I, I'm losing it. Yeah, this is in the color, like I said. I don't know, and I'm too lazy to check, so. <laughs> See how it's kind of giving me, like, Casper the Friendly Ghost vibes? Like, just a little bit. Where the money was at? Where the money was at? I'm tapping my leg so hard right now because it's contact baby. Okay, what do I do next? What do I typically do next? I... Oh, let's focus. They can see the face and the mouth of focus. Okay, whatever. We're already at 13 minutes. <laughs> Today I'm thinking about... Well, we haven't done the skin yet, so let me stop thinking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys with me and just kind of do my little get ready process. So I haven't obviously done my makeup. I haven't, what am I saying? I obviously haven't done my makeup, um, but I did my skincare routine and I have my serum on, so my face is all nice and um, shiny and oily. And then, yeah. So, let's begin. I'm not going to ramble for much longer. But again, I might take you guys with me going shopping. I don't know because I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the NYX Professionals Makeup Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. I really like this because I don't know. I just really like jelly products on my skin. Especially since I have oily skin. It feels a lot more lightweight than a regular like primer which usually I think have oils in them um, I could be wrong I'm just gonna speed up the unnecessary bits for you guys so you don't just sit through this Bobbi Brown concealer um, and this is in the color chestnut and then it has pale yellow um, powder setting powder under it but I'm not gonna use the pale yellow I'm actually going to use the Maybelline New York fit me loose finishing powder so this is actually for the face and this is in um, the color medium deep which is number 30 and it's a lighter powder but it gets a little darker when it's wet um it sometimes gives me a little bit of like casper the friendly ghost vibes but it's not really bad especially when i go over it with my actual color okay so apparently a lot of people do like their eye makeup first like their eyeshadow and then do their their skin I guess so that they don't have any fallout and they can clean it up, which is actually quite smart, but I don't really like care. He got his new PS, so he's, oh, he's, okay, what am I saying? My brother just got his new, my brother, my brother just got his new PS, so he's been playing it and I can hear the music, so sorry if it's in the audio. So now I just take the back of this and mix my foundation because I've recently been mixing two of my foundations together and I've been loving like the look it gives me. It's like my exact color. So these are actually drugstore. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Urban Cover in the color Java. It has broad um, spectrum SPF 50. So I like this. This has been, I don't know if I can, wait, hold on. Okay. This is terrible angles, just like really bad. But this is what I've been using. And then I've been using the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. So this is like a tinted moisturizer. And this is in the color Deep Mocha. Focus. I have rabbit hair on it. Anyway, I do a two to one ratio. So twice of Deep Mocha, cause it's lighter. And I have a, like a yellow undertone, I think. Or red. I have reddish and yellow undertones. I don't know what the heck I have, but it looks that like this matches my undertones the best. Estee Department. Estee Lauder. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going crazy. So 
So I'm just placing it on. I look insane. <laughs> I look insane. Um, now I'm just gonna take a damp like sponge. I'm just gonna speed up this process because I know you guys don't want to be here watching me um, put my foundation on. So I'm gonna speed this process up or come back when I'm done. All right, well, this is my first time doing this voiceover feature, so this is fun. Um, I'm basically showing you guys I'm taking that lighter powder, like I said before, and putting that on the high points of my face. Then I'm using my darker powders. So this was Maybelline Fit Me Face Powder 340 and 350. Then I'm using the Glow Bronzer in the color Deep Dark. Um, don't worry, we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to blend it out. It's going to look cute. Don't worry. Are we done with face? Yes. Yes, we are. Continue. We're done with face so far. Okay. I think we're going to move on to eyes now. And I wanted to do a green and brown look. So we're going to see. I'm just going to wing it. Oh, I hate when my nose is running and I just did my makeup. That wasn't cute. Let's um, edit that out. Probably won't. Um, too lazy. Anyway, what's my purpose? Um, so, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, is that? So, I'm thinking about doing a green look. I'm just winging it. So, if you saw the video of me before with the look, that means it turned out somewhat okay so I'm gonna start off with the warrior 2 palette so this is these are the colors in the palette I'm gonna start off with this color all over the lid and this is in the color Yoda so I'm gonna do Yoda all over the lid because it's, it's kind of like a base color and it's like the same color as my skin or at least my foundation so And this is just like a big blending brush, I think, by um, NYX, by NYX. So now I'm going to go into the color that was next to that, and that is the color Kufuru, which, that's Kufuru right there. This is the Morphe brush, and I think it was in the Jaclyn Hill, like, pack tapered in, and that's good for my crease. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that in the crease. I'm gonna blend this. I'm gonna be liberal with this one and not have it too pinpointed and I'm gonna kind of blend it up. Um, and that's just gonna give me a little bit of a reddish tint which I don't mind and actually kind of want for this green look. Now I'm gonna take the James Charles palette and I hate how I have oil all over this. Oh, terrible. And I'm gonna go into this like reddish brown color right here. I don't know when my voice changed again, but it did. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of put that on top of Kufuru and blend it a little upwards, like a little more. Um, and keeping my eye a really nice rounded, not rounded, more cat eye. So as you can see, I blended this up quite high and then I'm gonna go with Kufuru and just deepen the dark, the under parts of that because I want that part a little more brown than red, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna bring Kufuru into the bottom part of my lid and blend it towards the middle of my lid. This is the color Benny. Um, it's the second darkest color in the palette. I'm just gonna go with a light, like a light hand and I'm going to go in the crease and only outer half slash third of my eye. Okay, so while I do that on the other eye, quick little story time. It, 
it's pointless but i thought i should tell you so it was literally the middle of the night and the lights were off and i don't know why i was walking in the dark downstairs i thought maybe i thought i was a bat some echolocation was gonna happen it didn't baby okay i was walking in the dark and we have this huge like um wooden like statue thingy in our house and it's like carved wood real wood and um it's usually in the middle of our living like living room but someone moved it i guess so i'm walking in the dark and i'm i don't know why i don't know why for the life of me i was walking in the dark i'm walking in the dark and i you know i put my left foot forward as i'm walking and literally my friends I bumped my knee on that like stump so hard it was oh my god it was excruciating and it fell over it didn't break or anything but it fell over and I was like literally in pain I was like oh my knee <laughs> so, I can the minute my knee hit that like statue immediately I felt it swell up I was like yeah I did, I did a number on that one. I woke everyone up in the house and like, they all came rushing. They're like, what's going on? We heard a boom. Did somebody fall? I'm like, no, I was just walking in the dark like an idiot and ended up hurting myself because of it. But you know, you live and you learn. Okay. I'm going to take this brush from Morphe, the same Jaclyn Hill um, thingy. <laughs> same Jaclyn Hill lady I can't speak same Jaclyn Hill brush set and yeah it's just kind of like a flatter brush I'm gonna use it for my cutting my crease so to speak with the color and the color I'm gonna use is from Colourpop I really love this color look how pretty it is I don't think you can really see it um, but this is in the color it's a super shock super shock shadow this is in the color moonwalk it is so gorgeous this color is gorgeous look how gorgeous i don't know if you can see the reflex hold on okay let me move my lighting and see if you guys can see the reflex camera is not doing it justice baby i should probably put a little base color down so i'm gonna use that shimmery green in the Ch james charles palette this one right here i'm gonna go ahead and use that and i'm putting that oh look at that that is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm putting that on the lower half of my lid. I don't go up higher than that. Okay, it just looks gold on the camera, but if you were to see it in person, you would see some really gorgeous green moment. And I'm only going two thirds of my eye. I'm gonna leave that outer third, that dark color. I don't wanna go over that. I wanna bleed that into like this little cut crease part of my eye because I really want a more smoked out look. The look is coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Super Shock Shadow. Let me go ahead and use that. And honestly, let's just hope for the best. Cause I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. Oh baby, that's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go all the way in with this. I'm just gonna keep it in the third of my eye that's in the middle because the other one is lighter. I'm trying to challenge myself to go out of my comfort zone with makeup lately and I'm actually really liking it. I feel like in person it looks a lot more green than it does gold, which is it's appearing gold on camera because I'm using a light and the camera's picking up like the reflect so but i think it's it would be really pretty if i had used the green base so now that i've done that i'm gonna go ahead and get the dark green in the james charles palette it's a really bright green so i might mess this up oh my gosh i might mess this up and i'm gonna put it in between the um brown and the green create a little bit of a good transition. 
after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take this big fluff, fluffy brush. I can't speak. This big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out um, the colors that we put in our crease with the green a little bit just to make it, you know, a little more cohesive and pretty. And we're gonna go ahead and do the under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that pinpoint brush that we were using again from the Jaclyn Hill Collection with Morphe brush set thingy. Can't see today, woo woo woo. I'm gonna take Kufuru and go ahead and place that under my eyes smaller brush and I'm gonna go into the color Benny and I'm only going on the outer portion of my eye honestly like outer third that's about it I'm gonna go ahead now and do some eyeliner so this is the NYX professional epic ink liner um, and black is black or new or whatever I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I might just off camera because I, it takes a lot of focus. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished the eyeliner off camera. So I just went ahead and put mascara on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes only in the outer like two thirds of my eyes so that I don't get like raccoon spatter eyes. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and use blush. We're gonna do lipstick and highlight. And then that is it, we're gonna be done with the look. All right guys, so that's the look all done. Hopefully you guys like this look. I tried a little, you know, something out of my comfort zone, but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video very soon.